welcome back to the Snivy Pad. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with all your friends. So today we will be going over the Curse of the deck that I have put together for you. So jumping right into a Curse of the is a 190 HP Psychic type Pokemon. Its ability, Yawning Aura, states as long as this Pokemon is in your active spot, whenever your opponent attaches an energy card to their hand, to one of the Pokemon put three damage counters in the Pokemon, and then its attack is 60 damage and three damage counters to Pokemon Bench Pokemon. So the main strategy with this deck is you're going to want to pair the Cursula with stars such as Arctazolt. You can also put more damage around with stuff like Zigzagoon. Or even, really, you could do some stuff with some Giratini with Disruption. And it's all around just a giant Disruption deck. Basically, the Cursula isn't going to do much damage. It can do a decent amount, but it's not amazing. But what you're really going to want to do here is you are going to want to be able to put that damage down for all the energy your opponent attaches. Because no matter what, they need energies. It's not like an attack where they can just use an ability to do something. They need to put energies down no matter what in order to do anything. So this is pretty much just a denial deck for that. So we are going to go into Versus, and we're going to play a couple games with it. So we can select the deck and go into there. And, oh yeah, we got an opponent right away here. So that is very good. So... We do not know what deck he will be playing because he has regular sleeves and a regular deck box. He's calling the point flip. We have one, and we are going to choose to go first. So it is our turn, and we'll draw our hand. So we're going to be forced to take a mulligan. Our opponent has not gone a mulligan, unfortunately. So they will be choosing his active Pokemon. And they have an active and one bench Pokemon. And, yep, the one bad Pokemon. So we will shuffle our hand back into our deck. And we'll draw a new hand. So we got a Curse of the V, which is very good. And they don't think to start off in our bench, so our opponent will draw their Mulligan card. And they did get another Pokemon, but they're not going to decide to play it down. So they have a Volcanion and a Ditto V in play here. So we are just going to use a Grip Ball. Got another Curse of and there's not much else we can really do here. We're not going to play the Cursula just because we don't really need it. But, alright, so we're going to pass turn. And our opponent now has a heat fire thingy. The, the um, giant hearth, I'm sorry. So he will be using quick ball and we're getting rid of my Lotic V. Not a V you see very often here. But he's going to want to get rid of it so he can use it with his Ditto V he has on the bench. He'll be grabbing another Ditto V, a shiny one this time from the Shiny Vault, which is a very nice card. So that will be going on to his bench. And we'll see what he's going to go from here. Appears to be thinking about what he's going to do. Next turn for us, we're probably going to do some Energy Denial again. Basically, this deck is Energy Denial, so then he has to damage himself with it. It's pretty self explanatory. So, we're going to try and get some energies off if we can, if he actually has any energies. He wants to put on anyone. So, he will get a fire energy. He will deal 30 damage to himself. And let's see what he's going to do now. He's going to use Quick Ball. I'm guessing another V card or something he's going to discard. Nope, just going to discard another Quick Ball. And he's going to search himself for, let's see... It's probably going to be something more that he can discard. Yep, Rhyperior V he's going to search for. And he's going to discard it. And he's going to get a fire energy from the hearth. So we are going, he's going to use Volcanion's ability. And he will attach energy to Ditto. Attach an energy to Ditto. And attach another energy to Ditto. Alright, so... We are going to use Crushing Hammer, Tails, but we still have our Rare Fossil we can play here. And we can play our Team Yellow Grunt, and we'll get rid of one of the energies on the Ditto. And we're going to pass our turn from there. So it is now our opponent's turn. He's going to draw his card for turn. And he's going to attach another energy, which will do another 30 damage to the Volcanion. Now you use Heat Heat Blast for 110 damage to us. So you're going to attach the Horror Energy. We are going to put our Arctazolt onto there. We are going to play the Curse Law. 
And we're going to play our Marnie. So we are going to get another Rare Fossil, which we can evolve into an Arctazolt next turn, which is very nice. So we are going to do that. And we are going to, well, we can use Giant Heart just to see what we got here. Card and Energy. Alrighty, so it appears nothing important is prized or anything. Slide is good. It's very, very good. So we will pass the turn to our opponent. And we'll see what he's going to do. So he is going to draw his card for the turn. And he's going to use Pokemon Communication. And he's going to grab the energy. He's going to use the Welder card here. He's going to put um, it on to Ditto for 60 damage on him. And he's going to use Heat Blast for the knockout on our Cursula. Which means he will take 80 damage. So we're going to bring up another Cursula here. I'm going to put another Burr Fossil down. And we are going to use Arctazolt onto it. And we are going to attach an energy to Cursula. And we are going to pass the turn. So it is now upon its turn. He will be drawing this card again. And let's see what he's going to do here. He's probably going to add more stuff to... Nope, he's just going to go for Heat Blast again. And we are going to draw another card. So we will get our Crushing Hammer, and it is heads. So we will discard an energy attached to his Volcanion. And we will pass the turn. So it is now our opponent's turn. And if he's going to put an energy on Volcanion, then he is going to die. And if he puts an energy on the Ditto, then he'll be 20 HP away from getting knocked out. So he's just going to use his regular attack here. With the energies, attach one to himself. And we are going to use a quick ball. And we are going to get rid of Super Scoop Up. And we are going to get a Crobat. And we're going to play the Crobat down and draw to six. And we have Horror Energy, so we will attach that to our Galarian Cursula. We will use Quick Ball away, the Great Ball. And we're going to get another Cursula. And that will go onto our bench. And we're going to put a... Or it is going to attack. And we're going to put three damage counters on the Ditto. This way, if he wants to attach another energy to the Ditto without healing, then he will be knocked out. So we will take a prize card for that. So he's going to bring up the Ditto, and if he attaches another, like I said, if he attaches another energy to it, then he will be knocked out because it will do 90 damage to him, and he's 90 damage on, well, 80 damage on, sorry. And nope, he's going to use a welder though onto that Ditto, and that will do 70 damage, and bringing up to 140. So this is the good thing about this. This is what we want to do with this deck. We can just keep going and going and going and going and going. Until the, those Pokemon just have so much energies on there. It can't do anything. So he's going to turn into a double. He's going to use Revenge Blast for 150 damage. We are only down to two prize cards left here. But that is, that is perfectly okay here. So we are going to bring up our rare fossil. And we are going, let's see, we're going to Marnie. And let's see what we got here. So we have gotten, so we could put up here, we could put up our power plant so that he cannot get any more energies. And we can use crushing hammer once. And we'll use another double. And twice, come on, heads, 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 ah, tails. Still, though, that's pretty good. And we will use our energy on there, and we will pass the turn to our opponent. 
And since it's now Apollo's turn, he will draw his card. He only has five cards in hand, which is unfortunate for him. Not really for us. And he will get rid of Pokemon Communication, bring up a Heat Ran. To go onto his bench, he's going to switch. Yes, into the Heat Ran. Yep, into the Heat Ran. And we'll see what he's going to do here. So, he is going to... I'm. He's probably either, if he has a welder, he might be able to get out the steaming stomp. If not, nope, he's not going to do anything. And he has conceded the game here. That's the power of this deck, really. If you can get it going and going and going, there's really nothing your opponent can do. Because if they can't put energies on there, they can't do anything. You can just slowly just knock them out. I mean, if, you're, if they're doing 120 damage to themselves every single time they do an energy, then there's nothing they can really do. So we have gotten a reward here, which will be one battle styles pack. And because our opponent conceded there, we will have time to play another game, which is very nice. So we get another quick matchup here. And we are in there. So our opponent may be playing a fire deck because of his sleeves and his deck box. We do not know, but it, he might be. So our opponent is having some internet issues, and he's back there. So we will call the coin flip. We'll call Tails. We have won the coin flip. And, like, last time, we are going to go first. So, it's our turn. And, we they are going to choose their active. And, we're going to bring up a Cursula. I'm not going to bring up a Jirachi, though. Just because of we have the energies that we need. But, if you guys would want to pull up the Jirachi, that'd be fine. I just choose not to. So, very similar start to last game, where they have the Volcanion up. So we are going to attach the Horror Energy. And we're not going to play the Giratina. They don't have anything really we can do with it. And we are going to use Great Ball. And we're going to get another Cursula. And we're going to put that on the bench. And we're going to pass the turn to our opponent. So it is now our opponent's turn. And they will be drawing their card. They will attach an Energy to Volcanion. And they will get that 30 damage right off the bat. If we can survive it here, then we will be able to knock out the Volcano next turn. So you're going to bring up a Rushy Ram and Charizard and a Brakeson and all that goodness. And they'll be putting them on the bench. And we'll see where he's going to go. He's going to use Green's Exploration. And let's see what he's going to search for here. He's going to search for Giant Hearth and another Green's Exploration. So that will go into his hand. And he's going to play the Giant Hearth. And let's see what he's going to get. He's going to use Firestarter. And he'll be able to get some energies onto some of his Pokemon here. Question is, who's he going to put the energies on? So he's going to put one energy on the Russian Ram and Charizard. Two energies on there. And three energies on the Russian Ram and Charizard. So we will use Galarian Zigzagoon, and we'll put 10 damage on the Brush Ram and Charizard. Just switch it down to a more reasonable HP for us. And we'll attach a second energy to Galarian Chrysala. And we use Hollow Missile for 60 damage. And we will put 30 damage on the Brush Ram and Charizard here. It's not letting me do that. So there we go. Put 30 damage on that Brush Ram and Charizard. So, not quite knocked out yet, but next turn, if we survive, we will be able to knock him out. So, it is now our opponent's turn, and let's see what he's going to do. He's be thinking about what he's going to do here. He could attach energy to the Volcanion and then welder onto the Charizard, or vice versa, if he wants to do the Volcanion's attack. So, he's going to use Green's Exploration, because he has no abilities in play here. And let's see what Let's see. Let's see. What two? He's gonna bring out two trainer cards. The question is, which ones is he gonna get? So yeah. Uh, all right. He's gonna get out another Green's Exploration and a Switch, and that will go into his hand. And if he has a energy, then he will be able to attach it to the Charizard, and he will be able to swing with it this turn. The only, this is pretty much one of the worst matchups we could have gotten, sadly. But that is not that big of a deal, though, because we do have other cards that we can use. 
And he's going to switch it into the Breshazard. And he will be able to use that Flare Strike for the 230 damage. And we will be knocked out. And he will get up to the 90 damage though, which is good. So he will take his two prize cards. One and he's going to take a second one. And there's two. And we're going to bring up the Galarian Zigzagoon. And it is now our turn. So we're going to start powering up that Cursula. We are going to put a Jirachi down. We're going to scoop up that the Zigzagoon. And we're going to bring up the Jirachi. We are going to use Stellar Wish here. And let's see what do we want. What do we want? We are going to get Boss's Orders. Which guy is the most highest read? Okay. So, hmm. All right. So we could do that one, or we could do this one. I am going to choose to do the breaks in because he needs four energies in order to attack. So we are going to play down the Zigzagoon again, and we are going to do 10 damage to the Charizard. And we are going to pass the turn for now. And we are not awake, but that is okay. So it is now our opponent's turn. He has his Charizard and breaks it up, which I don't think he was expecting, because he was all powered up to start attacking. So he is going to use that green's exploration again. And he may be getting some sort of switching card here or boss's orders, so he can knock out Cursla. And yep, he's going to get a switch, unfortunately. Which I mean it sucks, but it was it was worth the effort. So he is going to probably play the switch here, and he's gonna bring up that. Rushizard, yep. He is going to use up the switch, and he's going to bring up the Rushizard, and he's probably going to use his Outrage attack if I were him, because he wouldn't have to use up his GX. And he's going to use a Great Potion, uh, not the smartest move, because he won't be able to do as much with the, with the Outrage attack, which is odd that he would be doing this. But I mean, you know, it's not my deck. <laughs> So he's going to use Outrage, and it's only going to be for 60, so he is not knocked us out. So it is now our turn. And we are going to use Quick Ball, and we're going to get rid of Garantina. And we are going to search for Crobat. So we are going to play down a Crobat, and we're going to draw until we have 6. Alright, that gives us some stuff to work with here. We're going to do that, and we are going to Stellar Wish. And we have gotten a Great Ball. So we're going to grab that. I'm going to use the Great Ball. And all we got is a Mew, which we don't really need. Alright, so we are going to just press his research here, try to get a better hand. And we do get some good stuff here. Not amazing, but it's okay. So we're going to Great Ball. Nothing this time. Not good. So, we are going to scoop up that, our Jirachi, and we're going to bring up the Zigzagoon, and put the Jirachi back down, scoop up next the Zigzagoon, bring the Jirachi up, use the Zigzagoon, 10 damage on Charizard. Alright, so now we'll be able to use Stellar Wish again. So we will do that. We have a crushing hammer this time, which is good. Very, very good for us. We'll use crushing hammer on Charizard, but it fails, which is unfortunate. So we are just going to pass the turn, and we are not going to reawaken here. So that is that is fine, though. So our opponent is probably going to knock us out next, you know. Most definitely going to knock us out here with his Outrage Attack, because he does have the right amount of damage for it, unfortunately. So he, we will use Green's Exploration. And let's see what he's going to get here. Probably, he actually, he cannot get another Green's, because he doesn't have any more in his deck. So he's just going to get two regulars. He's going to get a Switch and an Energy Spinner. So I'm guessing he's going to use the Energy Spinner first. We can get out some Energy cards for himself. Yep, he's he's going to use a Giant Hearth, actually. And he's going to get rid of a Reset Stamp for it. And he's going to get those two Fire Energy cards from his deck. And let's see where he's going to put those, if he decides to put them anywhere. He's going to use Switch. And he's going to bring up the Volcanion. 
and he's going to attack the energy and he's going to use high heat blast for 220 damage with the weakness which i mean it's not it's not good <laughs> so we are going to bring up our galarian cursula and we're just going to attach another horror energy just so he, he can do more damage to us we are going to use his hollow missile attack and we are going to do 30 more damage to the Rush Lizard. So, Volcano is knocked out. And we get to take our first prize cards for the game. And unfortunately, it will probably be our last. Like I said earlier, Rush Lizard is a really bad matchup for us just because of that weakness. So we will place Vitality Band onto the Rush Lizard here. And he probably he's going to knock us out this turn again. He's going to use Energy Spinner. Get that energy card. And he's not going to put it anywhere for right now. But he is going to use the welder. And I'll see where he's going to attach it. And he's going to put it on the Charizard and Brixen. And that's going to put 60 damage on it. It's not ideal for him, but you know. <laughs> don't really matter at this point. So he's going to use fire crystal to put two, three of them into his hand. He's only going to get two though, which is a you know, <laughs> so he's those two fire energies are going to be in his hand, and he's going to attack with Flare Strike for 240 damage in the knockout on our Glaring Cursola. And we will do some a little bit of damage through him, but not enough to really do anything. So we are going to concede the game here. There's nothing else we can really do to win here. There's not really any possibilities that I can see. So those were the two games for you. Like on um, this deck is a very good deck unless it is against a fire deck. That is its only real weakness. It would be okay if we had weakness card energy, but that is out of standard currently, so that is not good for us. If any of you guys can find a card that will negate the weakness for it, be sure to put it in the comments below so that we can all share it together. And if we get enough suggestions for the deck, then I will make an update video to show it again. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions or just want to spark a conversation, be sure to leave it in the comments below. And like always, have a great rest of your day.